Alright, what's up guys? Penguin Overlord here, and we're back with another Ghost Recon Breakpoint news um, video. So we got the full patch notes, we've got the uh, post from Ubisoft about Episode 2 Deep State, so uh, most of this I'm going to skim over because I've already talked about it in the last news video regarding the Ghost Experience and Deep State and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to skim over and cover the parts that weren't in this video because because it's um, new information. So um, let's get started. So we're getting rewards throughout Deep State. That's going to be like all um, Splinter Cell type gear. Um, you can go see that on the post. Just keep... Just note that the first mission's rewards are obtainable by all players because the first mission is free for everyone. However, if you don't own the year one pass and you manage to play with another person who does, you won't get the rewards. So you have to have the year one pass. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the rewards will be granted retro retroactively to those players for mission two throughout the remainder of the adventure by picking up either the Deep State Adventure or the year one pass in the store themselves. I would just get the year one pass simply because greater access to um, quicker access to the new classes and of course the transcendence adventure that will happen later this year anyway two new classes finally confirmation that we have the echelon class so the special ability is the sonar vision so um you can highlight the silhouette of enemies even those hidden behind walls and it'll mark them and it can also disturb drones. Not 100% sure what that means, but I guess we'll find out. So basically like what we saw in uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Although if you saw the uh, trailer, um, it doesn't look like um, like if you move it like gets blurrier like it did in Wildlands Ghost War. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the special tool is the shock pistol. It eliminates enemies stealthily, which is pretty cool, and temporarily puts drones to sleep or stuns th stuns them if they detected you. Um, pretty neat device. I'm not sure how um, much more useful it will be compared to the Panther's drone spray. Uh, we'll have to see uh, on what the range for the shock pistol is and whether there's bullet drop. Um, just how it works. I'll definitely test it out quite a bit. Actually, I'll probably be playing Echelon first because Deep State does apparently have a more of an emphasis on stealth gameplay. So um, I'll definitely focus on that on the Echelon class first. Um, passive skills. So I guess as you rank up through the um, through the levels, um, you go through like one to ten uh, through the class levels. You get passive skills. Reflex shot is pretty interesting. Auto aim with a handgun when being detected. Um, kind of cool. Uh, definitely mess around with handguns more because we are going to get a few more new handguns. Uh, Shadow Master, Shadow Stealth Boost, and Silent Moves. Again, kind of obvious. Kind of like the Panther. Handgun Proficiency, Damage Boost, and No Silencer Malice. I'm not 100% sure what, that, what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it means that there's no damage penalty and the ha damage of handguns gets boosted. So that's pretty cool. So you got more incentive to use a handgun. Um, so pretty neat. Engineer class, we already talked about special ability and supply drone, they're kind of obvious. We do now know the passive skills, so plus 10% grenade launcher area of effect, and plus 5% drone damage. Now I think what this means with level 2 is that once you reach level 2, that bonus increases. So with the grenade launcher, you have a 20% uh, area of effect increase, so if you, if you don't quite hit your target with the grenade launcher, like a drone that's moving, you've got a better chance of hitting it, so that's good. Um, ten percent to drone damage. It's it's an okay bonus. It's fine. Um. Uh, I just wonder if they fixed the um drone um damage cap ability because if you try stacking your drone damage too much, it caps out at thirty percent. So I'm not sure how this is going to affect things. Maybe they fixed it. Maybe they didn't. I don't know yet. We'll have to find out. Uh, PVP for all the PVP players out there. Um, we've got four new maps. Uh, Stony Creek, Freight and Yard, Forgotten Valley, and Construction Site. Reward, new rewards, Paints for the Weapons, Silencer. Uh, we'll talk about Silencers in a sec. Titles, a new emblem, basic PvP stuff. And you can map vote, which is pretty cool. Should have probably happened when the game came out, but hey, whatever. 
Uh, that's what happens when you rush things. All right, so patch notes. Again, going to skim over through this. Um, so gunsmith options, we are talking about – I did talk about the short barrel and the ACOG before. But interesting thing here is new suppressor customization. So it's a new muzzle option when that's been added to the muzzle list. And you can manually apply 3D visuals to it. Um, however, paint options are locked for those options. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, it might be something like the uh, Skull Suppressor back in Wildlands. That was one of the rewards in like the uh, crates. Uh, so it may be something similar to that. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, you will be able to get some in Maria's shop. Uh, connectivity Assistance talked about that. Did I talk about... Um... Oh, it's 15 gigabytes if you're on PC, 30 if you're on Xbox One. Oof. Uh, it's a big update. But hey, it's smaller than Wildlands ones. Uh, 17 gigabytes for PS4. Okay. Um, gameplay and adventure for you one past content. You expand additional story. New iconic locations. I wonder if that means the uh, island that's covered in um, fog right now on the uh, right side of the map it will be unlocked i i hope it is because i want to explore that place uh new gameplay mechanics and elements in fact new math <laughs> new faction missions if i can slow down a little bit knock tongue tie myself and more so that's cool so we're getting new faction missions so we'll be able to continue that aspect of the story for like the maybe two people who care about that sort of thing um but yeah, so and that also sounds like um, there will be like a um, episode three of the Battle Awards uh, uh, or season three. I don't remember what it's called. You know what I mean, though, that there'll be new Battle Awards coming out. So that'll be cool, especially for um, since the coronavirus is making us all stay indoors. Um, I'll actually have time to <laughs> play these missions compared to what I would normally do with my normal hobby, such as jujitsu. So That'll be that. Uh, inventory management, I think we already discussed this, yes. Um, Ghost War, I already talked about this. Uh, the, but there's ad, an adaptation for Ghost War. Uh, again, kind of making the whole, uh, we're going to mix PvE and PvP kind of pointless. Uh, the supply drone gives recoil reduction instead of a boost in Ghost War. So that's interesting. Um, gives it... So it's at least not completely useless. And the shock pistol has the added function of draining stamina in Ghost War. Oh, and the engine. I just realized since the engineer class summons a drone, that's going to be fun to deal with in PvP. Imagine you're just like, you're just trying to hide because you're being suppressed. And suddenly a drone comes up from behind you and just starts shooting you. Uh, that'll be fun uh, <laughs> to deal with. Uh, then again, I don't play PvP much. Anyway, characters and customization. So we're getting a lot of stuff added to the game for free. Obviously, you have to um, pay for it with scale credits. Uh, and there's some stuff that's going to be exclusive to year pass owner, year, year one pass owners and adventure purchasers. Um, so, and okay, so let's talk about. It. So we're getting two of the alternate suppressors in Maria's shop: the uh, Kiln Silencer and the Ripple Silencer. So we'll have to see what that's like uh the future is a closed site if you're not aware of what that is that's the optic on the the uh, terminator rifle the mark 14 termination so if you missed out on the terminator event you'll be able to um get it now so that's good uh hill uh, figures three uh, hill nomad and walker um so if you didn't get the Nomad figure the first time you'll be able to get it now and hill and walker should be free i don't think you'll have to pay skill credits for that i think it says it's somewhere in these patch notes um somewhere or is it over here no i i think it's for free though could be wrong but i'm pretty sure it is um with without paying scalp credits um customization facial paint shark who cares nvg third echelon black arrow so um let's see should I open up tab? Nah, I'll open up tab. Uh, third echelon. Um, what's it called? Uh, Black Arrow. Black Arrow. Yeah, so it's, um... So basically, it's, um, this. Um, it's basically... 
I guess they're kind of discreet uniform for the uh, third echelon agents in uh, Conviction, even though walking around with um, <laughs> night vision goggles on your face isn't exactly the definition of discreet, as is um, open carrying a... Uh... Actually, I don't even know if that's a handgun holster or not. What the hell is that? Nope. Let's go back. It's something. But yeah, that that's totally discreet. That's going to... that No one's going to notice you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Um, so it looks like you'll be able to um, put the Sam Fisher um, night vision goggles on, like, whatever helmet you want, which will be a pretty interesting look. Um, you'll also be able to get um, the night vision, the regular night vision goggles if you don't like having a to helmet, so we'll go for that a little bit. Vehicle added the RT5 Shepard standard for scale credits. So for all you who, again, missed out on the Terminator event, um, if you missed... If you wanted to get that Terminator truck that has that gun that deploys um, out of the back of it, um, you'll be able to get the regular version of it uh, from Maria. So if you if you missed out on that, it won't be exactly the same. You, it won't be the exact Terminator truck, but you'll at least have that same type of vehicle. So that will be cool. Uh, weapons, um, some of these were already added to the game. Uh the ARX 200 was a uh, Season 2 Battle Rewards thing that everyone should have got, so kind of weird that they'd add that again. Uh, AR-18 and using 9mm were events from the Terminator Rewards. Again, if you missed out, you'll be able to get it. Two new weapons, though. The Mark 23, the um, <laughs> crew-served handgun, if, if you've ever seen that gun, because it's a huge pistol, apparently. I've never seen one in person, but I just know from other people talking about it. And the SC-40K, it appeared in Wildlands and in Blacklist, Splinter Cell Blacklist. So that's coming back, so that'll be cool. Um, you also get some weapon variants um, that were um, battle rewards, so if you missed out on that, you'll get at least some of them. Um, though those will have to be purchased through, uh, scale credits, and they're kind of expensive. I think when I, in the Terminator event, they're around, like, 15,000, uh, scale credits. So, um, you're gonna have to kill some Behemoth Jones and save up. Unless you have a whole bunch of money. I spent a bunch of my scale credits recently, um, buying, um, blue items, the blue weapons, so we could disassemble them to get blue weapon parts. And of course, the unique weapon, we've got a Maxim 9 Echelon, so that's pretty cool. It's the, uh, what was the equivalent in Wildlands? But it, it was that one integrally suppressed um, pistol. Uh, I can't remember what, the Whisper. That's what it is. So it's, it's basically the Whisper, um, but an Echelon variant. So that'll be cool. Uh, Deep State Adventure Rewards, you get Sam Fisher and Victor Cost videos. That was Husky in the uh, preview trailer. So it sounds like Victor Cost may actually have a role to play in Deep State, which would be pretty cool. Fourth Echelon Goggles, Mission 1 Reward, and also the SCIS Handgun. That's also Mission 1 Reward. So if you play that first mission, you'll be able to get the fourth Echelon Goggles and the the one of the Splinter Cell Handguns, which is not the 5.7. I thought it was, but that's not... Correct. So let me actually, since I have it up, IS pistol. Uh, that that's the pistol that they're talking about. Maybe it'll show up differently in game. I I'm not a hundred percent on that, but um, that that's probably what I'll end up looking like. Unless it's just a re unless it's like the five seven blacklist. Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll find out. Uh, gear you obviously get pants, boots, gloves, full mask. And a blacklist helicopter, some titles, who cares. Uh, raid boss rewards, if you, you're doing the raid, you get raid gear equivalent for all that, which is pretty cool. Uh, new class unlock items, uh, all this stuff, who cares. Uh, maximum 9 is the echelon reward, which I thought it would be the uh, SC40K, but I guess not. Uh, Ghost War items, you can get a suppressor variant, blah, 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 who cares. Uh, new hair customization, unlocked by default for free, so that's cool. So, you've got the bun, curly crew cut, shaggy, side part undercut, light stubble beard, and medium stubble beard. So, I'll definitely try those out. I, I like him, I'm liking the sound of medium stubble beard, so that way, it's not like a super long beard like what we have. We'll see, we'll, we'll see how it works, but it's good that they're adding new hair options, because I wasn't perfectly satisfied with some of the hair options in um, breakpoint uh there's store item bundles um if you want to spend um credits i still have gift cards um 
yeah, like uh, MasterCard uh, gift cards like this one right here. So I may use those because I'm not using them for anything else, really. Um, there's a Mark 23 Echelon that I might also get uh, with the gift cards. Okay, there's... Let's see. There's bug fixes. Yeah, the, the Hill and Walker figures are added to Maria's shop for free. So that's good. Um, fix an issue that didn't allow to be the, allow the game to be launched for you play for some players. Yeah, I countered that a couple of times, so that's good. Um, they fixed the another DMR glitch. Um, again, that's good. Hopefully that, that stays and we don't have to deal with that anymore. Um, what are the other things? Base jump, oh, that's already talked about. Uh, there was a damage bonus perk when injured on the Gibson M9 while in Ghost War. I have seen people talk about that particular glitch. Um, I never really experimented with it, so again, good they're fixed. Fix some clipping issues, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the belt. The belt's color would change depending on the color of the shirt wear by the character. That's fixed in this update, so it should match your vest, I think, from now on. Uh, they also fixed an issue with the silver stake. I guess that was another silver stake glitch where I, I think how it worked is if you had multiple people running the silver stake, it would do exponentially more damage. Something like that. Uh, they fixed an issue on the sharp thunder weapon. I'm not sure what they were talking about. Whatever. Uh, some other things. I, I mean, you can read all of these themselves. They they made some fixes and balance stuff, but I think that is going to cover everything. Respawn, we talked about that. Vehicles. Um, basically, basically some um, just general improvements. Um... Okay, there, there, there's nothing else that particularly fix an issue where binoculars will not appear while using photo mode. That's a weird one. Um, okay. All right, I think that covers everything because this video is already too long. Uh, so basically, uh, some good fixes, lots of new content that I'm really looking forward to playing, especially Deep State. I have been waiting so long to actually continue the story of Breakpoint. So that will be cool to uh, get through and do that. So, yeah, I think that about covers everything. So um, I do not have off uh, from work at the current moment because my business is an essential industry. So I won't be streaming Ghost Recon Breakpoint until um, – 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So calculate that, that to whatever your time zone is. But that's when I'm going to start streaming Deep State. I don't know if I'll be able to get through the whole thing in uh, one night, in one stream, because I plan on playing quite a while. Because uh, it is seven plus hours of content, uh, of new content, uh, at least for Deep State itself. I'm not going to worry about faction missions at the current moment, because you don't have to play them every day uh, to get everything. But, um, yeah, it'll probably be, I think, I'm thinking it'll be at least two parts. Uh, so it'll be one stream on Tuesday and one on Wednesday. And after that, I'll start cranking out videos about all the new content and everything will be nice. So, yep, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm Penguin Overlord, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care, guys.